Welcome back to the channel. So as you can see by the title and my little baby girl here, it is time for another baby update. Now, before I really continue into the update, I do to make a disclaimer each and every time because I do do it stereotypically different, if that makes sense. So typically when I do my baby updates, I do do it pretty much the month after they turn. So. Right now, Noelle is actually eight months, but this video is gonna be about her seven months. Because just to me, it feel like it doesn't make sense to do an update as soon as they turn a certain age because I feel like it's not fair to say she done this in that age when technically she did it the month before. A lot of times too, I find that she does something new that she never done before in the middle of that month, if that makes sense. So, um, so I just like to do it that way. That's just my total preference. But I am giving disclaimer, she is more like eight and a half months. Now, this specific one is a little bit later because of the holidays and everything that's going on and craziness with the whole election thing. So you guys just stay safe. I hope you guys are prepared for anything. But yeah, this is gonna be all about Noelle's update. So if you're interested in knowing everything that's going on with this baby girl, just keep on watching. Alrighty, so let's hope this time goes better than last time because last time, child, she was throwing up all over the place and nobody really got time for that, okay? But I think we're pretty good because she is over that spit up stage. So, um, starting in no particular order, just in how I wrote it, she is definitely, definitely, definitely holding her head up. She does not have any issues in that department. It seems like roughly two weeks after I made that video, she was was pretty good on holding her head up which I thought was gonna happen she really prefers actually being on her stomach now I know last time we updated ourselves she hated tummy time and all that stuff now she loves being on the floor and watching TV she thinks she's grown like every person who's around her they be like she thinks she grown she just be chilling and she sits like that for a good 15 20 minutes at a time so it's pretty crazy but yeah i guess i should also mention that um she is definitely rolling she was going through a little forgetful stage on how to like roll and flip and all that no child she is good in all that department she does like more like a helicopter move now she's like spinning in a circle but she she gets around and if she wants to get somewhere she will flip and roll her way to it until she gets to it so she definitely knows that she can maneuver now. I really appreciate that because I want her to be able to gain some independence. <laughs> Hopefully pretty soon. Oh, uh, and this is kind of another one too. She is not crawling yet. Um, she definitely is starting to try. So I think it'll be definitely something that'll be in our next update because she tries to kind of push her knees up, but she kind of buries her face <laughs> into the floor. So I'm hoping that in the next month she starts to crawl. Uh, I think it's just a case of her being too big for her own good. If you have not seen my other update, uh, she is around this kind of more towards the 94 percentile in her height and weight. She is more like a, um, a one year old size as far as her length. I don't know exactly what her length is because I haven't been to the doctor because of these times right now. So I don't really have that in her weight, but I'm pretty sure she's at least about 22 of them things. The girl is pretty big. Now let me start looking at my list to make sure that I'm keeping on track. As far as like teeth, she is definitely like teething right now. She did end up getting two bottom teeth and I think the top left side 
is coming in as well. She's really in this gnawing stage because of that. I do think the other one right next to it is gonna come quickly after because it looks like some impression is going on right there. So she might be like a little, <laughs> it sounds bad, but you know how like little rats be having like those big top and big bottoms? That's what she gonna look like. Outside of that, oh, she loves her little bouncer. I know I said that last time, but she absolutely loves that thing. On top of, she has this little spinner toy, and if I have a video, I will show you guys where David is chasing her, and she be running in it. It's called a three-in-one activity, oh, no, three-in-one around we go activity center. The one I have is by Bright Start, but they do have another one, I think, by Einstein. But yeah, I definitely love that toy, recommend that toy. That's probably been my most useful toy uh, between the two babies. But once they grow out of needing the little seat part, you can disconnect it and um, just use it as a tabletop activity thing. So I absolutely love that thing. She does too. And she just be going in circles, child. And, and sometimes I feed her in it. She's very stable in it. But yeah, that in the jumper is like her two must love toys. Let me lay you to your side, girl, so you can drink this bottle. She is admiring. I have like new lights. I also have a ring light. Hey, girl, I don't know if you can tell this difference. Like I did mention earlier, she did definitely stop slowing down on throwing up or spitting up, that type of thing. I actually just stopped burping her immediately after feeding her. I used to like feed her, which you naturally supposed to do. You feed them, you burp them and keep it going. But I noticed like every time after I would feed her and burp her, she would throw up. So I really stopped kind of burping her. I waited until probably like another five or 10 minutes after she ate to burp her. And if I didn't forget, I would burp her. But sometimes I would forget. I ain't gonna even hold you, girl. She seemed to be pretty fine. And plus, even when I used to burp her, it used to take her a million years to burp. And I'd be like, are you kidding me? What's taking so long? She would not burp. But once I stopped doing that and adding oatmeal, more oatmeal to her bottle, she was pretty fine with that. Why you gotta try to pinch me? The next thing that I wanna talk about is sleep. So the last time I spoke to you guys about anything sleep re related as far as her being in her own crib and all that, y'all know I've been having major, major anxiety when it comes to her sleeping on her stomach and SIDS and that whole thing. So I've been very anxious about that because I knew that it was gonna be coming up very, very soon with her trying to sleep on her stomach. So it wasn't too long after I spoke to you guys about that that she actually started trying to sleep on her side slash stomach and my anxiety went up the roof but there was a slight difference with uh her versus Nala so when Nala started sleeping on her stomach slash side or started to roll she did not know how to hold her head up by the time she learned how to roll but when it came to Noelle she kind of knew how to hold her head up so it wasn't that bad, but I still spent two nights trying to roll her back over. So the first night she started rolling on her side and I started rolling her back. So every time I like woke up and seen that she was on her side slash slash stomach, I would roll her back on her back. And then at, by the second night, she was every single time I would roll her back on her back. About the time I go to the room, she's on her stomach. And it got to the point to where I, I was like, God is going to have to have it with this. Now, even before I decided to kind of give up on doing that, I took out, uh, if you don't know, I personally do use uh, mattress crib toppers on their mattresses with both kids. That is something that I found that helped me. I don't think it's the safest thing to do when babies are learning to hold their head up and you're still in that SIDS afraid stage I would not recommend it but it is something that I noticed that works very 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 well when it comes to them sleeping better and longer so I did try to take the topper out she was not having it so I ended up putting the topper back in and then she went to sleep and I was just like you know what I'm just going to have to have faith that she knows how to hold her head up. It was a lot uh, because I would find times where I couldn't really tell if she was like face down into the topper or not. So there was many times where I would go and kind of like rotate her neck a little bit just to make sure she understood that she needs to like 
breathe. By the third day, I was pretty okay. She had demonstrated by that time that she pretty much got it. And also she has to have two blankets. She has just two security blankets. But I noticed that she loved to put stuff by her face. And I wasn't comfortable with her having a blanket or anything like that. Oh baby is sleepy okay i'm gonna go ahead and let david take her and put her down y'all say goodbye because it's just gonna be me for here or not because this baby is done say i'm done i'm done yeah can you come grab her for me and put her down okay she's too sleepy you hung up on me Say I'm too sleepy. You got that light in your face, girl. Ciao. Okay, anyway, what was I saying? Something about security blanket. Let me just try to reiterate. Basically, she started to always pull like her little plush blankets near her face. So I would be like, okay, I'm, I'm too afraid to have those blankets next to her. So what I end up doing, I end up buying two small plush security blankets off of Amazon. And one of them was kind of large. And she has a habit of actually loving it to sit on top of her face which gives me anxiety so i end up sewing one side up together and made it like a i guess like a cloth or a rag type size end up letting her use those and with those things it definitely helped in her sleep training process it's definitely on top of that it's time to get one of those little border things because your girl be getting stuck stuck all up in the crib her legs be hanging out now i already had one from when nala used to do that she still actually does that which a side note it's almost time for her to transition out the crib because i think she's gonna try to start climbing out the crib pretty soon so uh, we decided that we're gonna actually convert our guest room bed um, and to and put it on the floor and that's just gonna be her room, but this is not about Nala I do plan on doing a uh, Update for her. I'm just trying to find the right age to do the update because there's just so many transitions I don't know. Let me know if you guys want to see like an update as far as her development and everything with baby girl Nala I do also think she's going through like a little regression stage because I have noticed that she is starting to not sleep as long as she was before she will wake up between like three and five o'clock in the morning and then next thing you know she is wanting to eat so i can't really tell if it's just like the regression or she she's not eating enough because she is only drinking about four ounces which it should be more but that's just what she drinks she's definitely going through something some days she she does make it to like 6 a.m then she wants to eat and then she sleeps all the way to like nine which i need to stop letting her do because it's really gonna mess up her little schedule and schedule's already all over the place because we just hit another daylight saving and wrong timing i'm hoping that i can completely get her off of waking up that early now i know some people would be like okay five o'clock is good it's technically just next day but it's still like to me, she should be making it all the way until she wakes up. Like, wake up when she start crying, just be like, here go the bottle. It's not hurting nobody. But I don't want her to get too attached to it, so I need to slow down. Now, and now I actually give her the bottle in the crib. Outside of the goes back to sleep at like 11.20, 11.30, and then wakes up around 1.30, to two o'clock depends and then we're having a hard time finding a grooving time between four or five o'clock and then she wakes up like six or seven that leaves them into going to sleep at like nine and later so it seems like no matter how late we're getting or we're pushing back the nap times it seems like the sleep times are exactly the same so i'm gonna need to get them in the bed no later than 8 30 and I'll be happy with that. As far as eating and food, she's eating like second sitter type of food, even though she is not sitting up yet. I don't know if I mentioned that, but she is not sitting up on her own yet. Again, I think this has a lot to do with her being too big for her own good. Sometimes I notice when kids are bigger, they just move faster and others just move at a slower pace. 
or average pace I should say because I noticed that Nala did move at a slower pace compared to uh, some other kids but when I researched it she was actually pretty average and other people were just a little bit more advanced which is fine everyone's different just appreciate your babies where they at so mine is not sitting up yet but she is getting better today I definitely noticed the difference in her sitting up I need to allow her to sit up on her own more but she be clashing girl she be coming down like a ton of brick but as far as her eating um she is eating about four servings some days it's like eight ounces so she can eat almost two of the little gerber baby baby food she loves vegetables over fruits she loves her vegetables and preferably her green vegetables. She loves her greens, which is the reason why I started making the baby food because I noticed that baby brands don't make a lot of the specifically different uh, greens per se. I know you can pick out different brands to get a lot, but we try to stay in the same brand and find a lot of greens, but it's really hard. So I started making her baby food out of canned food. I do the canned food because it's cheap and because I got a Sands Club membership and I be getting gigantic cans of like corn and gigantic cans of like green beans and blending it up and child I have like a month worth of baby food. She eats three times a day, three to four times a day. She does have the little biscuits which I showed you guys. Well, I didn't really technically show y'all, but you've seen her eating, which is these little snack things. These are her favorite. These are the Teether Gerber Baby. This is Banana Peach. With these things, um, they dissolve really easily when wet. When I first started giving her this, that she can't choke on it because once it get wet, it started deteriorating. And I thought this would be a great introduction to food and getting her to like actually want to chew. And it is true, um, this have helped her a lot when it comes to the chewing. I started giving her whole peas, she likes that. But overall, it's just still baby food. So yeah, that's pretty much what she is. I mentioned earlier, she's around four ounces of milk. She drinks that about four to five times a day. As far as clothes, she's still in like the nine to 12, but she's more like 12 months slightly going into potentially 18 so she's definitely like more like if i bought clothes it'll be 12 months and up for sure but she's starting to fit in the 12 months really good 18 months is way too big for her but there's no real middle ground between 12 and 18 months so i'm gonna have to get a little creative still in size four diaper she's been in size four for the last like two or three months and as far as how she is when it comes to her being a super happy baby, she's still a super happy, giggly baby, but she definitely be giving a stink eye. She be cutting eyes, and I don't know where she gets that from. I don't know who she get that from, child. She be staring at people like they crazy. Even me. Even me. Even when people be making noise, she'll sit on her side like this. She love being on her side, child. She be sitting there like this. She'll look back at you like, excuse me, can you be quiet? And it's like, girl, I can't wait to start getting her Christmas list together. I know I'm gonna make some more adjustments for her because she just growing so fast, you know? So if you guys want to continuously follow up on the girls on more of a faster note follow me on instagram um at colors underscore isaac that's who i post pretty much everything about the girls because i just don't matter nor is this no more child and that's really all for this video that's all the updates that i can think of if you have any further questions or concerns or anything like that make sure you comment down below if you haven't already please make sure you subscribe to the channel turn on your post notifications that way you'll know each and every time that i post a new video that being said girl time to go. I definitely love you guys and I will see you guys in the next video.